All right, so I actually haven't practiced this at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and give um, my original um, lens a shot, the Sol lens, uh, and also try and see, yeah, I have some bombs. Let's go ahead and try and use those, change up a little bit, uh, since it's, you know, I wanna use Defensor, cause it's, you know, dope, but also he doesn't want us getting close, so I'm hoping I can mitigate, mitigate that with these grenades here. Oh god, it's so annoying, cause I have to move around him. Ooh, good damage. Wow, that is very good. It's funny, I read the uh, guide right before this, and the guy's like, oh yeah, for an immortal, this guy's super easy. And I was just like, I got my ass beat. What do you mean super easy? There's nothing super easy about this. And then, you know, now looking at it, that was super easy. <laughs> uh... Now, the only main issue is that I gotta drag this guy outside. The Django. You drove away both the guardians. Well, it would have been boring otherwise. <laughs> Sabata, what is it you're trying to do? You'll find out in time. Don't die first, okay, the Django? I'll be waiting in Soul City. Soul City. Anyway, the task at hand is to purify the Dark Guardian, Garmer. Let's go, the Django. Take him to the pile driver. The only issue with that is that I don't necessarily remember where the pile driver is. I know it's in this level, it's actually sort of in the middle of it. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually figure out how to get over there. Uh, I believe I was actually making good use of this, the flame lens here and also of the, not the spear, but the lance. I believe I was using that to pretty good success to get through the dungeon. Uh, let's go ahead and go, we can get through this right now. I do have uh, the correct battery equipped. Yeah, okay, never mind. I saw the fact that I had triple and it wasn't like three batteries, but even though I know there was the one I'm currently equipped, just have to make sure. Um, so we can go down that way or we can go back around this way. I believe we're supposed to go back around this way because we pushed that last time in order to um, basically go back. I don't know where going back necessarily is though. I remember it was this big giant empty room, but I honestly once again don't remember the layout of this place. So I'm not entirely sure about that. There we go. When in doubt, just rapid fire. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, it's relieving to think that, you know, having to play this and there's like a ranking system is a bit stressful sometimes. But then I remember that it's really not that big of a deal considering the fact that I can kind of just ignore it. Since thankfully, I do get, you know, better rewards and whatnot, which is fine and dandy. But at the same time, it's uh, nothing too crazy. Um, I don't know if I want to go up or down, actually. Hmm. Quit it. I don't know. Was that really it? No, that is an ice puzzle. I don't think I want to go that way. Uh, let's try going down here to the south, then. Um, but yeah, it's relieving to think that I don't really have to worry about ranks too much because the only thing I really get out of it is like Slightly better items, but I don't think there's anything exclusive That I won't get if I don't get you know a super secret Triple S rank or any bullshit like that. So I don't really think it'll be the worst thing in the world Stop it. Uh, hopefully it's down there Because again, I don't remember I mean, this dungeon in general was way easier than the um, Fire Top Mountain, in my opinion. There we go, yep. This is the Pile Driver. Alright, set the coffin on the Pile Driver. Why didn't you do it yourself? Oh, is there something else that's gonna happen? I was gonna say, that's pretty pointless to have a cutscene of me dragging the thing in and then you don't. Uh, just put it there yourself, but apparently I guess he's blocking out 
Oh, there's sort of sunlight. I guess this dungeon isn't as easy as I thought. I don't know what the hell you're expecting me to do about that. Oh no! Now we can't start the pile driver! Across the ice flows at the start of this dungeon. Wasn't there an open area? Looks like you'll have to take the coffin there. If you could take care of the ice above, maybe we could do it here. I mean... I do have the lens, the flame lens, um, which presumably will do the trick. The only thing is I don't know, oh, okay, it is right here, alright. Well, I'll try and see if I can just use uh, this and just sort of melt this away. I don't know how long this is going to take, but uh, <laughs> hope everyone's having a good day. <laughs> alright, there we go. Oh, it's, it's nice to know that there was a sort of an alternative path. Uh, I could have either dragged it outside or I could have dragged him. I'm uh, sorry, I could have dragged him outside or I could have just done this if I had the flame lens, which is nice. Um, which is, I don't know, it's interesting. There's not really, I can think of any of that back at the Firetop Mountain. I'm sure there were some things I could have done with the ice lens, but I don't think anything to this extent. I don't know. There's only two pile drivers here too, which is interesting, uh, considering that the golem had like four of them. Get him! Uh, ow. Ow, please stop with the ice. Please, please, please get power. There we go. Please get power. There we go. Stop throwing ice, man. I hate that he throws it right down the middle, so it's not... Oh, my God. Never mind. That was even right down the middle. How am I supposed to dodge any of that? Like, it just goes smooth, straight at me. Oh, well. I'll just have to blast them. Okay. That ain't good. Uh, let's go ahead and just swallow a bunch of apples. And while we're at it, I don't want to waste any of mine. I'd rather not use any of my items because I would put them to waste. Oh boy. Um, let's go ahead and just use this ice nut here so we can reduce the damage that this dumb bastard does to us. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god. I hate things in games where like they have these uh, enemies and their attack is just only vertical by you running out completely out of the way and not being able to do any damage to them at that point. So it's just like, why why do I have to go so far away? Why do I have to go majority out of my way just to dodge an attack when you could just make it a little easier to move around or something? I don't know. It's just unnecessary, in my opinion. I believe I did that a lot quicker, but I did get found a billion times, so... That's not good. But, doesn't matter because we got the Frost Solar Gun Lens. Alright, we've purified both Guardians and both the Seals are gone. Now we can go past Sealed Hill. We did it, the Django. But that doesn't matter because you're not going to go to uh, Sealed Hill. You're actually going to go over to... That random city that I uh, ominously mentioned before. I don't understand this thing there. Did I just push it in the wrong way before? Or was it that I needed to... I don't remember why that's there. But I also don't know how the fuck to get out of here. Oh boy. Finally. Jeez. That took a very long long time to find my way out of that um in any case i need to try and see where it is that oh boy so that's fire type Mo fire top mountain that's the uh icy place and then these are three places that i can go to i don't remember where it is that i went to where i was able to go through hmm, maybe it's down there let's go ahead and find out there we go.
So, finally found it. So I actually passed over the path that was previously blocked off by the two blocks. And uh, uh, we missed over some tech, but basically Otenko was talking about how we can't actually go that way. Because it's in the sky, apparently. The solar city, or the soul city, or whatever the hell they call it. Uh, so I need to go over to the Illusion Forest to power up his, uh, his warp square. So, uh, I don't know where that is, but I do remember that there's this thing here that we need to actually find a way to get through. And thankfully, we do have finally now both lens. We got the frost lens and also the flame lens, so we can get through both of these little barriers now. We can go into whatever the hell this is. Whoa. Who art thou? An adventurer? If thou wish for power, stretch out thine hand and grasp the azure sky. After each trial, this tower shall gain, shall give a trial anew. Build your character and build up the tower. I await your arrival. Adventurer, I grant thee this emblem. The earth emblem? What thou hast all emblems, I shall give thy, or give thee thy final test. I am waiting, my young adventurer. Hmm. Was that the silvery white knight? The Django! A special power is at work in the tower. Once you start climbing, you cannot save your process progress until the end. Prepare yourself well before you begin. Interesting. Ah, uh, so there's whoa, there's a lot of these. Soldiers hints one. The key to the blue door to the upper floor is carried by an undead. Defeat him for the key. Hmm. Square over there. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can really go anywhere aside from going up. Wow. All right. Uh, I guess next time I'll actually venture this because it looks like this is actually gonna take a bit. Uh, stay fresh. <laughs>